Hello and welcome back to Eye of the Beholder, episode 6, folks. Uh, I actually looked up what I think we need to do here on level 4 to get into that door that we couldn't get into. Uh, it's one of those things, you know. There's a hidden door or a hidden wall here with the lever. And I think that opens up the door. Okay, I'm going to just move quickly here. Oh no, it doesn't open up the door at all, but it opens up a hidden wall here. Secret door. Crikey me. And in here, there are some interesting things. There's a lever here, which opens up that door that we couldn't get through. And there's this, the stone portal. And um, this is an excellent opportunity, actually, to modify the inventory a little bit here. Like that. So we know the stone dagger is there. And this is that thing. And uh, there's one missing, as you can see. It's a puzzle, which is a very important puzzle, actually, in this game. And there's another door here. And... It leads to a room, which is the Oracle of Knowledge room, which is super important. And uh, I think this is where we're going to chuck all our gear, extra gear off. Because this is a room we'll for sure return to. Actually, let's um, put it back on. Uh, rest and just make sure that we don't have anything magical that we don't know about. Magical. None of this is magical. Uh, as you can see, including the, the braces. This ring is the ring of adornment. We don't need it. And yeah, that about does it. Uh, so let's go back here and throw all this stuff on the ground. And we can always come back and get it. when we need it. Uh, the, it has the added advantage. You can have a Dwarven Shield though, just for flavor. It has the added advantage as well, uh, having things here, that it's close to the portal. Okay. So this is our little uh, stash now. I was under the impression that there was going to be Cure Poison potions here, but uh, it appears uh, there isn't. Okay. That's fine. So let's go back to level five. Right quick. Which of course is where we're meant to go and investigate for this episode. I mean, in theory, uh, we would do an episode per level, but that's not going to pan out. It has panned out pretty much so far, but it's not going to last if you if you know what I mean. Because the levels get more uh, intertwined, and also they get bigger as we descend further. There's a key here. There's a key in these hills and. A Scale mail. So uh, I can't remember if it's better or worse. It's worse. Okay. And so we have chain mail on these two fellers. I think this goes to 
Gunther. Gunther. You are our only hope. Now I know there's a button on that wall there. We'll get back to it in a minute. This is suspicious. But it doesn't appear there's anything there at the moment. Alright, that opened this up. Okay. Seems kind of pointless, but it was uh, suspicious. You're right about that. Well, it was I that said it. I'm right about that, then. Okay, and this loops around. Nothing secret here. Okay, so there's only one way for us to go here. And this is the Dwarvish Rune of Safe Passage. So there's a, it's a, an illusionary wall. Scroll of Prayer. Okay, and these doors are all solid, I take it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so what do we do? We have obviously not discovered something here that we need to discover. There's a Dwarvish Rune of Safe Passage here. So here we go. Let's save, by the way. <clears throat> this is tense tense game guys <laughs> i hope you like it uh, it's like uh, with most things that i do now i record loads in advance so uh i won't know sure well that's uh, another secret place yeah what the heck uh we might as well Investigate here. Oh. I hear spiders. Well. <laughs> that was that was cool. So we can use this, the uh, illusionary walls to our benefit here as well. Um, while I'm thinking about it, we might as well eat something. We're running low. And we can always use some more space in our inventory. That was that. Okay. So let's carry on here. All right, there's a door and there's a hidden button. Okay, we dealt with them. <laughs> Dispel magic. Oh, nice. Let's uh, scribe it. Actually, let's have a look here. Uh, can we... Uh, can we... Uh, we have... No, okay. We don't have any further spells here. But we do on our shiny mage. Another magic missile. And fireball. Ah, we're in the clear, guys. <laughs> Let's get the rest of the game is going to be a breeze. 
No, it's not quite like that. But that is a, a nice spell to have. That is for sure. Okay, so that button didn't open up that door. But we have more to explore over here. Two doors with keys. Three doors with keys. Please reset drain holes when finished. Okay. And then there's a button for that. Greed will be your downfall. I'm quite sure of that. And there's a lever over there. And there's a way down here. But we'll continue investigating here a little bit as far as we can. Okay, I feel like we should go down here and have a little quick peek, a little save first though. Fancy key, fancy that. But no keyhole put it in here yet. So we'll keep a hold of that key, of course. Please reset drain holes. I uh, think I remember what this is. If we push this. Uh, yeah, now we're going to save. We go forward here a little bit. Holes will open up behind us. Okay. There is loot here. But I want to go this way first. <clears throat> so we'll try that. There's the teleporter. Which teleports us back out. And then if we use the lever here, act as control or reset drain levers, <coughs> all the holes are disappeared again. So we can try and explore here without falling into the holes. I don't think we're going to be very successful. Well, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna use the keys here because I'm I suspect we have action coming up. What the hell are you? Maybe this is the Kuatoa, the other ones might be called something else. Bird people sounds like Kuatoas, right? There's typically a, le a button there. Uh. The man had a ration. There's a door with a button, but 
about we open this up as well here. There's a ring here. <clears throat> Which we now picked up. An extra rock for Gunther. so we can get back up okay we'll get back to level six or whatever it is later yeah but now we want to go maybe south here pick up this sling which i believe is cursed if i don't misremember too too much And another ring. Let's uh, let's uh, have a look here. This is a magical ring. This is a magical axe, and this is cursed. I think. Uh, I guess uh, you're having the axe for now. I, I hope it's not cursed. <laughs> and the ring is probably a ring of protection. Armor class three. No, it's not a ring of protection. Might be a ring of sustenance. Let's put it on Vera for now and see if we can notice anything. There's a key here. Okay, broke my lockpicks. I have another set by the way, so that's why I was a bit careless with them. Ooh, there's loot in here. Plate mail. Well, this hopefully will uh, increase our armor class a bit. Minus two. Uh, stellar stuff. And Vera, you can have a scale mail, I think. Right? I don't think there's any problem with having uh, heavy armor in this game. For, um, for rogues. Right, but there's another keyhole here. Well, now we're in the dirt again. Oh yeah, that's a ring of feather falling for sure. Hey, look, we're in the wall. The map is bugged. Racers. Uh, okay, so I hear steps. Armor class three. Still armor class three. That's a ring of protection. Braces of protection. I don't know. They don't seem to do anything. See all these holes in the roof here. Thank you. 
Gunther gained a level. Let's see what else he can do prayer wise here. Another level 2 spell. Let's clear these. And I suppose 2 aid and 2 hold person. And 1 slow poison in case of emergency. We now have access to the best spell in the game create food. <laughs> we'll uh, go for one of them and a prayer for now. Let's rest and get those uh, memorized. Pardon me. Wow, 60 hours. Gosh, dagnabbit. Okay, at least we've closed the door. Oh, I've got to move, or move too late. Oh, I should have totally opened that door. I wonder, though, if there's like a secret way to get between these two here. Oh. Sidestepping spells. You can't do that in the pen and paper game. Also, this ballet that we're doing now is kind of a weird thing, but it's also sort of canon in, in this and other games like it. Grid-based dungeon crawlers. Okay, we're back to uh, the stairs. That aren't turn based, I should say, as well. Okay, so we are on the hunt for more keys here. The thing is, we might as well just carry on and explore as much as we can. There's another key. And then just fall down, because now we know how to get up again and things like that. Anybody not wear shoes? Yeah. Take over. Have some shoes, mate. It's gonna be new uh, enemies here every time. Oh, that's fine. Gosh damn it. It scared me. And a lot of hit points. Right, up we go. Okay, let's not go in there, let's go here instead. It's another key.
Okay, I think we've explored everything here. Let's jump in the hole nearest here, though. Just roll up again. <laughs> okay, so now we can go back. We have two keys. Hopefully that's enough. I can't remember. Uh, we can go back here and try and open another key. I mean, open another door or whatever you call it. And open another wall. Oh, and that leads to teleporter. Oh. oh, but we're in a different place. Oh, dear. There's a spider. I can hear more spiders as well. Okay, let's just check these walls. No, they're, they're solid walls. Door with a button. I'm not too sure about this axe, by the way. I think I have a like a vague recollection that it is um, cursed, but uh, I don't really know. Wait a minute, I'm getting, I'm getting spun around here. Oh dear, a secret compartment and a wand. Which, um, I can't remember what it does, but Okay, uh, we know there's a secret wall there, but let's before we get more sidetracked, let's look in this door. I regret everything. Bloody hell, can you please die? A lot of you. All right. We hear spiders, but we're going to save. Because we just killed two spiders without dying ourselves. I, I call that a win. Okay, we're, uh, we're lucky so far. scared me. There's a button which opens this. Lots of uh, big hallways here. And we're now behind those doors that were locked previously, right? Well, they're still locked, in fact.
And we're finding food. Okay, food. I mean, I'm not saying no to food. Ocean of somethingness. Pantry. Okay, I seem to recall roughly what to do here. These uh, regular foods now got transformed into iron rations. And that means that we can do away with any and all of these that we happen to have. They make funny sounds when they eat, by the way. <laughs> Alright, you could get extra full today, man. So that was the special quest for this level. There's a door. We have a whole inventory full of iron rations here. Okay, yeah, I think this is our way. Ooh, we meet the dwarf. I am Armon, spokesman of this clan of, clan, of course. We have information on the location of the exits from these halls, but in our hour of need, I have no time to help you. However, if you would be willing to help us, dot, dot. Armon begins, our clan is descended from the dwarves who built these great halls. Here, our ancestors lived in peace until hordes of evil creatures drove them out and into the realm of men and elves. On the surface, our numbers dwindled. Finally, our little leader, Kin Tairgaw, Tairgaw, gathered our people and led us underground in search of our ancestral home. Using secret knowledge passed down through the royal family, we finally discovered these stone carved, carved halls. The halls were vast, and we only explored a small small portion before we had to made uh, we have to make camp. I suppose it's supposed to say in an enclosed area decorated with a stone portal. But while the camp slept, the stone portal flared with magical light. From the light, a horde of drow charged us. They were led by a female they called Shindria. We rose up and fought the Dark Ones, though we were exhausted by long weeks of travel. Both sides suffered many casualties, but in the end we forced them to retreat into the portal from which they came. The battle was costly. King Teirgoh. Te was wounded by a poisoned dagger and now li lies in eternal sleep. Nothing our cleric can do will wake him. His only son, Prince Kairgar, was captured by the invading drow. With no member of the royal family among us, we no longer have access to their secret knowledge of the exits from these halls. Now we wait while our cleric heals our surviving warriors once prepared. We will try to rescue our prince and avenge the fall of Tegor. Tergo. Our numbers are small, but we would rather fight to our deaths than abandon our prince to the drow. Unless, if your party were to rescue Prince Kegar, Kergar from the drow and return him to us, he could give us inf uh, give you information about the exits from these halls. You would have the, your information, and we would have our prince. So, will you help us? Yes. Armon accepts your help with great gratitude. He hands you a medallion made of stone. Take this. Shindria dropped it in the battle. 
It is the key to activate the portal through which she and her minions came. Our ancestors built the, por the portals to transport them from one location to another quickly. When the portal doorway is touched with the right object, the portal is activated. We would have followed Shindria and her drow elves, drow elves back through the portal, but we are not ready to confront them. The ancient ones also used powerful magic such as this to gain knowledge. Legend has it that there is an oracle of knowledge and the key to its operation is the powerful black orb. By placing an orb in the oracle, this, its power is released. Our cleric can help heal your wounds. Be careful not to tax him too heavily. He has been healing the wounds of our warriors and trying to revive the king from his poisoned sleep. Arwen stops you. Hey. Pardon me. One other thing. A young dwarven warrior would like you to join you in your quest to find the prince. Will you allow him to join you? Yes. Dorum joins the party. All right, cool. So we have another one of these medallions. Wrong character. Oh, and wrong character. And right character. Okay, uh, we'll put it up here for now because I'm unsure about where it goes. But we'll go and look uh, in a bit. Okay, so you have loads of food, mate, that you bring to the party. We don't really need loads of food, but, you know, don't know if we can uh, go and deal with the special quest again we might be able to in that case we're going to upgrade the food there's dwarves all around here and um, now is a good chance really to resurrect these bones uh, we'll deal with that in a bit here just want to sort of explore where the dwarves are here uh, we won't be able to, like, if we try and walk into them, it just says you can't go that way. So, um, we won't be able to fully explore this place. That's where the cleric was, isn't it? All right, so this is their area, basically. They're holed up in here. Um, Dorum actually is a good, good fighter. He has good strength, a little bit less constitution that, than... Uh, Tegor, but good still, for now we'll give him a sling and all the stones he can carry, and he'll be our back row here. All right, and I decided I don't trust this axe. I don't know for sure if it's uh, cursed or not. We'll find out when we find the Oracle of Knowledge that he was talking about. Um, yeah, so we have two axes from here. We have this one, which I suppose is as good as any here. Secrets. There's a button as well. And that just removes the secret door, okay. Fair enough. Man, it sounds spidery here. I don't know. Can't find anything. I know where uh, there's a secret now though, here. This might be why we heard spiders. Stone necklace. Um, let's go over to the portal and sort these things out. But let's first look over here. Haste! 
Ah, that's the best spell in the game. <laughs> I know I say that about a lot of spells, but haste to create food and fireball. Honestly, can't beat it. Okay, so the stone necklace is actually there. And this has to be that, right? Which is there. Alright, let's scribe some scrolls here. Haste and invisibility 10 inch or 10 feet, really, really. Uh, we have haste of fireball. I don't know. Let's keep the fireball for now. And heal up. Hey, we're doing fairly well. I'm sure uh, this episode is long. So uh, maybe we should continue this next episode. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we found the stone portal here. And we've talked to the dwarves and things like that. We now have six party members. Yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!